Not exactly a welcoming crowd for no. Yannick Polana. Did we come from England? Excuse me? He came from England? Uh, originally from Kosovo. Kosovo. Born in Kosovo from Hagerstown, Maryland. Oh, man. Al Albanian by blood. With a record of 8 2 and 1, 4 KOs is the sexy Albanian. Sexy Albanian. I'm sure you've heard some great nicknames in your lifetime. Yeah. I heard them all. <laughs> I was looking for I one for you. Choose not to. No. But I was like, you don't need one. You just Frank Tate. Just, just Frank. one bad man. They start off calling me Frank the Gold Tate, but I told them Frank Tate. Let me. I would rather go out on my name instead of a gold. Or, I know I won the gold, but I would rather go out as Frank Tate. I think it was Frank. No nickname needed. Tate. <laughs> yeah. Hey. No nickname needed. Just that good. We will see who will be almost as good here in this fight. Yeah, let's see. From Houston, Texas, and representing Nigeria, introducing to you Rafael Chirapo in Brooklyn. Here comes trouble. Rafael Ibakwe. Dressed in the full H-Town regalia, the Astro jersey, the Astro shoes, as well as the Astro trimmed shorts. By way of Nigeria, representing H-Town, is Ibakwe. As everybody's had a fantastic time here tonight at the Arabia Shrine Center as we get ready for this eight round super middleweight title Boy, these fight. boys just put some weight on. They fought at 147. The yeah, first back, time. back time, back then. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Oh, this dude don't gentlemen. even look the same no more. Live on nextfightup.com pay-per-view stream from the Arabia Shrine Center in Houston, Texas, USA. Tonight, Next Fight Up in association with Fort Strain Promotions and King's Promotions proudly present to you the main event of the evening. Eight rounds for the ABF Super Middleweight Championship. Sponsored to you by Everlast, Burns Original, Barbecue, and sanctioned by tonight by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation for Combative Sports, the Chairman Rick Figueroa, Deputy Executive Director Mike Addis Mendes, also sanctioned by the American Boxing Federation, ABF President Jeremy Lance, ABF Vice President Claire Burke, the three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Jenny Cardenas, Alex Leon, and Ray Zaragoza. And our championship referee at the sound of the bell, James Green. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fight fans, the moment has come. Ibokwe, Plana 2 here tonight. Two diamonds, one ring tonight who will shine the brightest. Fight fans, are you ready for the next fight? Oh! Introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, with trainer Simon Brown, tonight wearing black with burgundy, he officially weighted 168 pounds. Tonight, he steps into the ring with 11 bounce, eight victories, four wins coming by way of knockout and only two defeats from Hagerstown, Maryland. Introducing to you the sexy Albanian kids. And across the ring tonight, fighting out of the red corner, witch trainer Dwight Pratchett. Wearing the colors of the Houston Astros. 
He weighed in at 167 pounds. In 16 professional bouts, his record is outstanding. 14 victories, six wins coming by way of knockout and only two defeats. He's the Texas middleweight champion, Haley from the Space City, Houston, Texas, here representing the Nigerian community. Introducing to you, Raphael Chirubo. Charge on the action, James Green. So Boko, huh? This looks like both these guys are ready for this fight. Yeah, at a heavier weight, at a heavier weight class too. And it looks like they might have put on a little bit of weight after the weigh-in as well as they look a little bit big tonight. Well, like about 75, Just about, 80. right? Maybe about 180 pounds walking mm -hmm. weight right now. We are off to the races here in round one of our main event of the evening. Eight rounds, 168 pounds of Boy. dynamite. Boy, as Bolana comes man. out aggressive here against Ibakwe. No introductions needed for these two as they have already well familiar with each other. <laughs> he look like he throwing bombs. He ain't trying, he, he ain't trying to um, waste no time. He's trying to get him out of there. Oh! And stepped oh. into that one. Yeah. Oh, this, this ain't gonna last long. At, at this rate, it doesn't look like that would be the case, Frank. No, but Polana does have trouble long. against the ropes. No, this ain't gonna, any fighter against the ropes gonna have trouble. He ain't the only one, he got plenty of them. You can name the list goes on and on and on. <laughs> <laughs> the ropes, the ropes don't let you go, buddy. So Bakwe's defense is coming in handy here in the right corner. So we are here in round one. Cut already? Because nah, it got cut last time. Don't see any red dropping nah, from anywhere yet. Nah, no cuts. No cuts. We haven't seen any cuts in this uh, in our boxing matches tonight. We've had one knockdown. The rest have gone unanimous decisions. Yes. And they have all gone to the red corner. So Ibakwe, if you're looking at it that way. Ibakwe, the southpaw. Yes, sir. Alana coming back with the right hand and catching him. Right. holding him. It's probably strange them boy they haven't fought in years since the last time they fought each other. Now they don't, they gotta start all over again. I mean how often how hard is it for you to fight somebody that you already fought, win or lose? Because you imagine that they're going to change up their game plan, but a lot of it has to be the same, right? Yeah. Is this a game plan for Ibakwe where he's just trying to kind of get Polana to come in and catch him off guard? Yes, it looks like he's wanting to step in. Oh, so he might get caught like that. He got, he got to keep his hands up. You know, this guy's a little much taller than he is, so it's on. He got to keep his hands up. Well, Bakwe able to get out of danger a couple of times, but did take some shots for his trouble. Yes. And a interesting round number one, as it looked like it could have gone either way, depending on where you're sitting. Again, the ABF. Super middleweight title on the line. We're going eight rounds on this one. Schedule for eight. Round number one. Might not make it to eight. Might not make it. I can I can see what you're saying, and I, I can agree with you as well, Frank. Knowing the caliber of both of these fighters, what they bring to the table, it could be ending early. Both of these guys are capable of getting knockouts early on. Ibakwe has had knockdowns and knockouts three times in round two three and one time in round three so he can put people away early 
Okay. Well, that that was at um what forty seven though, right? A fifty four. I believe 50, that was at one fifty four though. Fifty four. Yeah. Well, these big boys now. They sixty eight. Yeah, they they they've definitely put on the weight since the yeah, last time they yes, met. Yes. Yes. As you noted, the difference of how they look yeah, from I that rematch so. back in yeah, 2019. Yeah, I was say, wait a minute, these ain't the same Now, usually has great success in round one where he's had three knockouts. But round two, round three, not exactly his strong suits. Well, I don't see a cut over Ibakwe, but the eye looks a little swollen on his right side of his face. Yeah. Underneath, not on top. As Polana continues to bring the pressure, but answering back is Ibakwe as he connected up top a couple of times. Man, but that bright punch from Polana to the body, he just digs it in there and he connects every time. Mm -hmm. He's connecting with the body shots and the head shots as well. But he, he looks like he's just swinging to me. He's not He's not throwing. The first time they fought, he was like a complete boxer. Now this fight is like he's just throwing them. He's just throwing punches. Yeah, there's definitely nothing sexy about the way that he's fighting for the sexy Albanian. Oh, no. He's just trying to grind it out here. And it's up to Ibakwe to match him. Who is going to control this fight, though, as both guys have given a lot of back and forth? Nobody really been able to establish themselves as the ring general in this fight. And it looks like Polana is more than willing to throw a strong right hook to try to catch Ibakwe. He is committed. Yeah, he's throwing it from Yankee Field. He's throwing it from Yankee Field, though. He's, I don't know what kind of punch, I don't know where them punches coming from. Them punches, them punches come from maybe which way, but the right way. And this is where we were talking about a couple of fights ago. You see awkward fighters, but this is one of those times where that awkwardness is working for the fight. Yeah, but he wasn't awkward the first fight. When he fought the first time, he wasn't awkward at all. He was sharp. He was sharp. Maybe he was he don't just even look the same. Straight up in the air. Awkward. Trying to find that right jab. But Polana keeps on answering back with the right hand. And it's been a strong couple of rounds for Polana. I know you can really be scored either way, maybe, but I feel that Polana has done enough, at least in the last round, to take the round number two. Yes, yes, yes. I'll give him a round each one. One round each. And this is exactly what we expected, an even fight. Two guys that have already fought each other. Right. Last time out, it was Ibakwe who got the win in a majority decision. Polana listed at six feet tall. Ibakwe is listed at 5'10". I'm not sure that two inches is making a big difference in this fight. No, no, it doesn't show because the way I do have Because if he if he stayed back and punched from the outside, it would show. But by him coming forward as well, it doesn't show at all. I have Polana with a 74 and a half reach. You figured that he would like to use it more, but well, we haven't not. seen that. No, we haven't at all. But yet that awkward right hand, and it's coming from many angles, has been effective. But you figure that since he's dropping his hands to throw that right hand, that he's just primed to get caught. He just throwing the punches. He just letting him, just letting him go. Hope, hopefully his fist land in his face. <laughs> That's all that you can really hope for. That's what it looked like to me. Well, like you mentioned before, my man, it only takes one good one, right? One good one. And it doesn't got to be pretty. It just has to land. No, it don't have to be pretty. Now a Bakway oh. throwing some power shots. 
Has he connected well? Yeah, he's good to connect. Like to connect. You got to you gotta get more of that, though. You got to get more of that. Man, that wild right hand from Polana. Ibakwe having to respect it. Oh, yeah. And it looks like Ibakwe might have the timing down now. As he pushes back Polana, and Polana pushes him right back. Both guys standing toe to toe in the middle of the ring. But it seems that we've had a fight where one guy unloads and then the other one will unload. And now this time it's a Bakwe. Oh, Polana answers back with the right hand and then the left on the face. Chin dead up in the air. Just exposing the button and Ibakwe trying to answer back. The crowd really into this fight here in this yeah. main event. Good defense from the done with the puck. Wasting energy. Now we have both guys tie up. Yep. They're calling him trouble. Polana's having some really good success when he steps around the left foot of the southpaw stance of Abakwe. This will be a hard round to score right here. <laughs> I really couldn't tell you, partner, which I way it goes. I couldn't tell you nothing on this one. That's a tough round to score, my friend. Yes. Polana walking back. I really thought one of those two guys would have separated themselves at the end. Eight round fight. Eight round fight. I'm not sure who's going to have the energy for this one. As we're about at the midway point, round yes. number four coming up. Round number four coming up now. And it looks like these guys used all their energy in round one and two. Well, from looking at the way he's resting on the ropes now, <laughs> Like he's, he put a little work in, so he might have to get some energy back in the corner. But how they, much of it was work that he put in and abuse that he took? Because he did take a lot of shots. He took a lot of shots and he missed a lot of shots. It takes more energy when you miss instead of when you hit. And he missed wildly and a lot of times. Wildly, right. So I can imagine he has to be winded a little bit now. He's trying to show that he's fresh. Yes. How He's long will that stay? He's trying to walk over there. Round four of eight. Polana not wasting any time. No, he's wasting no time. But you see Bakwe settle, and yes. now he's starting to probe with that jab. Yeah, he's still getting caught there. If you could make an adjustment for each fighter, what would it be? <laughs> Both these guys circle each other up. Ibakwe trying to get Polana against the ropes and keep him there to no avail. Neither guy able to get enough distance between each other to be too effective. And in case you just joined us in this main event, here at the Arabia Shrine Center in Houston, Texas is Rafael Abakwe wearing the Houston Astro colors in the orange, gold, and blue. As for Gedek Lana, he is dressed in the burgundy and black. Just they taking a round off this round. The tempo has tapered off a bit here yes. in this round four. Polana again, 
connecting with those right hands. They have definitely not made these rounds easy to score. No. Both fighters. Oh, good shot. Good shot. The crowd sense that Polana may be hurt there, but he fights him off well as he no, paws away with his jab. He's not hurt at all. This young, young man is hanging in there. And that got the crowd starting to get a little louder as he heard that huge thud. Mm-hmm. He's hanging in there. Just look weird the way he throws punches. Well, it's just weird that he throws the double power right and leaves himself exposed, but Ibakwe isn't able to catch him, and he knocks Ibakwe off balance. Because we just saw in that professional fight a couple of weeks ago where he tried to throw a double right straight and then got caught, and that ended up being a knockout of the year candidate. Ah. Well, Polana comes back with the three hit Look combo. Like he tired, man. Trouble, man, tired. And that's the eight, end of round number four. We're round number four, halfway through the fight. And right now, Polana looking strong. Is it the awkwardness of Polana's fight style in this fight, fight. that's throwing off Ibakwe? I think so. Because, I think because you were telling me, and I agree with you, you don't know where the right hand's coming from. He's throwing it from way out here. He's throwing it up close. He's just finding a way to fit it in. Yes. And they got to do it. And they're doing a lot of work over there in the corner on Trouble Man, too. A lot of work. So he's getting hit. Yeah, Trouble they're, Man is getting hit. They're really, they're really taking the end swell and keeping it to that, that left side of his face. Yeah, he's getting hit a lot over there. That right hand is hitting more than we think it is. Well, we know that the right hand's a problem. What would you tell Ibakwe to try to to try to migrate the right hand of Polana? We need to get closer. Gotta get closer. That way, that way he got a four back to throw it. You, you let him throw it. He just throwing it off. Of, just throwing it free. See how he's throwing it free? Now if he if he pressure him, he has to pull that right hand back. And you, and you make a great point there. He's throwing it free, and he's not bringing it back to protect his face. Either. No. He's just letting it hang he's out He's just there. letting the right hand go. He's just throwing it. See? He's just throwing it. Yeah, and I, and I don't think it's to, to try to... On it. He ain't trying to hurt him with it or nothing. He's just putting it out there. No, and I don't think it's to try to bait his opponent either. That's just the way he holds his right hand. It's low. But it's working so far as Ibakwe yeah. hasn't made the adjustments. He got a knot on that eye. Again, a rematch of a fight that happened on August 23rd of 2019, mm -hmm. where it was Ibakwe who was the victor in the eight round majority decision. But this time, the ABF super middleweight title on the line. A lot at stake now. And there, Ibakwe finally catches him flush. That's the but first good right hand I've seen him throw. So he's throwing it straight now. Polana has just brought so many different styles and angles of punches that Ibakwe, trying to counter, hasn't been able to find a good counter. Maybe too patient. The jab is working though for Ibakwe. But the bigger Polana utilizing that size. Well, he better. He has it. Why not? Well, he, it's because he hasn't utilized it in the in the jab no, sense. No, he hasn't used it at all. In the, 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 the first half of the fight, he hasn't, but the second half, he's turning it on. Definitely now starting to bully around the smaller opponent. Uh huh. I just keep on thinking for a Bakway, Frank. There has to be an entrance way, especially with that right hand so low. You can't get past the jab. If you throw a good jab, you ain't gonna get past it. See? There it was, though. Yeah, go right there, the left hand that time. But one punch ain't gonna win the fight. See? He's standing right there in front of him. 
But even when he throws that right hand, when it connects from Bolana, that time he takes a shot to the face. He's just hanging there, just welcoming trouble. No pun intended for Ibakwe. And there's Bolana just pushing him back. And the Bakwe hits him with the left hook. And another tight round. And each round has been so tightly contested. But that's what makes a good fight, though. Only six. The seven. This six. should be round number six coming up. I think six. Six. Round number six of the eight. Yeah. We're getting to those championship rounds in this scheduled eight round fight. Right. Both guys look pretty tired. They've been throwing a lot of punches. They've been taking a lot of punches. Right. But I mean, Abakwe's face, you can see the end swell really being used on that knot that he has on his left cheek, uh -huh. right underneath the eye. Right now, between the two fighters, who do you think has the advantage? Well, with his eyes not being closed all the way, Baca still has a, he still has a chance, but he just got to get busier. You know, he's the shorter guy. He's standing there posing. See, he should be throwing punches. Well, he's standing there posing. He should be throwing more than just a jab. A jab ain't gonna win it. There you go, see? Every time he throw, Variety of punches he lands. The right jab has done well for Ibakwe, but oh, yeah. like you mentioned before, he needs to follow it up with more punches. You need to come with that left hand behind. But I'm starting to think he's afraid to throw that left because the right from Polana has been so accurate today. Or tonight rather. Yeah, but if he close in on him, he can stop the distance of that right hand. Now Polana just smothering Ibakwe once again. And there's the right hand. Ibakwe unable to get out of the way. And it seems that Polana had noted that Ibakwe looked a little tired coming out of the corner. And he's just putting on the pressure in this round. But we still have two more rounds to go as we are here in our main event, round number six of the Schedule 8 from the Arabia Shrine Center in Houston, Texas. Now he's getting desperate, see? He's on, he's on the desperate end now. Which one, now Bakwe? Bakwe, now you gotta bring it to him. So you gotta bring the pressure now. Cause he's, the, he's, he's getting real desperate, see? And that's the other thing, gave away too. two rounds exactly where I was trying to get at. I don't think either fighter thinks that they have this fight in hand. So nobody taking anything off. No. Damn. But Polana's not even protecting his face most of the time. Now they're going tip for tap. Good right hand. The left hand sneaks in for Ibakwe. Straight right to the gut, Polana. The left of the chest, right on the collarbone. And Abakwe able to reach and connect right to the face. And here comes Polana. The end of the round coming up. And that was a slip. Yes, yeah. That will end round six. Round Again, another round tight one. This one looks like it's going to go eight. It's gonna eight. Yeah, it's going to go eight. It's going to go eight. Frank Tate saying it's going to go eight. It's going to go eight. From looking at it, it's going to go eight. We're going to have to give it decisions. We're going to have to leave it to the judges. Oh, man, this is going to be a. I would not want to have to be one of the judges if that's the case. 
it really could go either way depending on how you're looking at this fight. Right. And obviously, if you're Polana, you know you're in enemy territory fighting on Ibakwe's home turf. Right. You probably don't want to let it go to the judges if you don't have to. No, if I, I don't want that to happen. So I got to do everything is possible that I can do to turn that fight around, to turn the judges' score, scores around. Because so far he's in the fight. It's not like he's just getting whooped. He's still in the fight. He's a punch away from the fight. It's not like no, it's not like either man is dominating. It's just going back and forth. One man to get this round in this moment, another man to get the round in that moment. So it's not like somebody just taking total control of the fight. First one to take total control, then they're gonna win. Do you need to see someone establish their dominance in this contest? These two pugilistic well, they warriors. Miss more than they hit. Right. Basically, yes. yes. They they went to the end of missing instead of being composed and making the punch land. That's the first punch I see him land. Do you expect this to happen as the rounds get later towards that eighth and final round? The contestants will get closer and closer as they've expended so much energy. But Ibakwe doing some nice work. Doing some nice jabbing. Still showing some spring in his step, but has been unable to follow up successfully in combinations. As for Polana, his game plan hasn't changed at all. Continue no. to bull in and continue That's to all he's doing, bullying. And try to land that right hook to the body. And so far he's been successful. Yes. That in the right hand to the to the right side of the face of Ibakwe has also caused a lot of damage. Credit to Ibakwe, he's ignoring the pain as he continues to try to fight his fight. And Ibakwe hitting some power punches, and that seems to be the difference in this round. Whereas Polana is landing multiple punches, they don't have the sting that Ibakwe is delivering his punches with. Right, right. And he, he caught him with had, the left. Caught him with that left hand. It looks like Polana is starting to slow down in this fight. And he couldn't come at a worse time. Well, I guess he's trying to save the energy for the last round. He's looking forward to the last round. He said, if I can only get through this round, if I can look forward to the third round. Well, he's not making it easy on himself, and no. Ibakwe is not helping. No. He's not helping. He's not. He letting it be. Oh, whoa. Maybe a little late after the bell, but you always got to be on a swivel. And Ibakwe probably did enough to win that last round as we get ready for the eighth and final round of our main event. Yep, last fight of the night. And we see the arm going from the middle rope to the top rope as he's sitting down as Polana here on the near side. Yeah. Trying to get every ounce of air that he can muster for that last round. But Abakwe, as we look in the other corner, he doesn't exactly More look relaxed. good. Relax, maybe. Still be relaxed, man, regardless. That helps a whole lot. Instead of you in the, in the corner waving and talking and doing this, just relax. Listen, how much of the final round is mental as opposed to physical? 100% mental in the final round? Yes. Champion Chip Brown! This last round means a whole lot. At this point, both it's fighters are spent. It's almost taking you to you. You think this is the first round right here. Because I'm putting in my head, I don't win this round, I don't win this fight. 
that is a great way to look at it in a fight that has been this close. This yes. final round could decide who wins. Who wins this last round? The ABS Super Middleweight title. Justin Simmons alongside Frank Tate. Here for next fight up.com pay per view. Again, a terrific evening of boxing. So ecstatic to have all of you all along for the ride here in Houston, Texas. Whoa. The Good straight left. Him. Good left. You hear the tie up. And you hear the chance of trouble as the crowd is trying to will the fighter representing Houston here on his home turf. And he's staggered, he's Polana. Polana's in trouble. But he's trying to fight out of it. He's fighting his way out of it. Now you see how you that's what you're supposed to do. Exactly what you've talked about since we started commentating on these fights. That's Gotta what you're supposed hold. to do. Oh, if you're trying to fight back, you hurt. Good awareness from Polana, knowing that he was hurt and trying to regain his composure as he was on some wobbly legs. That, that little outburst might have wanted to fight for him. Yep. Mbakwe. Trying to see if he can win this round as Polana smothers him against the corner. Who wants it more? ABF Superman weight title on the line. Yep. And Polana again with the right hand, finding some success, but not as much as the Bakwe has had in this round. No, sir. Oh, but there was the right hand right on that knot. That short right hand hit. But it just doesn't have the power it once did no, earlier in the no. fight. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe we spoke too soon. And Bakwe with some bad intentions. Looping right hand connects. Looping left hand connects and he's hurt again. Will Polana go down? Oh, whoa. Polana doesn't know where he's at. And Polana again takes the left hand to the face. We don't have enough energy to finish him. You figured that would be the case between these two fighters. Who's gonna have the more energy? Another thudding blow right to the chest. Whoa, oh, whoa, but Bakwe gets whoa, knocked. Whoa, Only whoa. a few seconds left in this final round. He has to hold on. Polana misses wildly with the right. What a good ending. And what a terrific ending to this fantastic fight here in the main event. But what a fight. Frank, my friend, it has been a very close fight. And now we leave it in the hands of the judges where it really feels it can go either way. Either way, yes. But with your expert opinion, who did enough in this fight to walk away with the belt? Or did neither fighter do enough to walk away with the belt? I think they're going to give it to them, to them uh, Bobwe. I think so. Um, the judges know it. It, look, it looks like he might have also done enough in no, the last two yes, rounds. Yes, enough, yes. If the fight was close before that, those last two rounds might have been enough to sway the fight in his favor. But again, a tremendous bout, a whole great night of boxing put on by NextRideUp.com pay-per-view, Force Trains Promotions, and of course all the other promoters involved in this matchmaking. And again, one last special thanks to all our sponsors, Texas Combat Sports Hall of Fame. Burns Original Barbecue, Everlast, and the American Boxing Federation. As we await the challenge of the judges, Burns here in our main event to see if he can walk away. 10 pounds heavier, Super Bowl ABF title. And we really bring fight to end our night. Both of competitors giving us everything they had. But Jeremiah Gallegos should be coming up with our official reading. And right on cue, there he is. <laughs> Everybody's on the edge of their seat here trying to figure out who's going to win this fight. fight. Yep. The crowd was really into this last battle. <laughs> but a rematch from 2019 did not disappoint. Last time it went in favor of Ibakwe. What about this time?
Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the judges' scorecard, how about a huge round of applause, a brilliant performance tonight by our fighters in this championship contest. And now we go to the judges' totals. Here they are. Judge Ray Zaragoza has the belt. 79-73 for Rafael Ibokwe. Judge Jenny Cardenas has the belt. 77-75, Kent Plana. And Judge Alejandro Leon scores the belt. 77-75 for your winner by split decision and crown the new ABF Super Middleweight Champion. Hailing from Houston, Texas, He gets to add to his title collection with the ABF Super Middleweight title. But what a fantastic fight. I mean, both of those fighters just left everything out in the ring. But you can see Polani, he's still, and I don't, I don't blame him. He's still in disbelief that, that he lost he that fight. Right, right. Because he, he did win one judge's He didn't get the scorecard. decision. He's upset. I, I really thought that we might have had a draw, but Ibakwe rightfully celebrating his victory here by knockout or by decision, a win's a win. Well, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to keep my eyes open. <laughs> I know it's been a long night. Frank, I want to thank you again for being alongside with me. I've learned so much from you just tonight. And